Good afternoon. There we go. It's a dark room, but you've got lots of energy. We'll do it again. Good afternoon. On behalf of the White House Council for Community Solutions, I want to thank Opportunity Nation for their commitment to improving this country and giving us all the chance to come together to commit to improving opportunity for all youth. In 2010, President Obama brought together our council from business and education, philanthropy and government, and even with the considerable efforts of John Bon Jovi from the rock star industry. The President asked us to help identify and raise awareness of effective community-based solutions to our nation's most serious problems. Well, this was a serious council, and we listened, studied, and chose very quickly to zero in on one essential community need, putting every young person on a clear pathway to economic opportunity. As you know all too well, and you've heard from numerous speakers today, the future is on, ominous for the 6.7 million 16 to 24 year olds who are disconnected from school and jobs. They are currently off the key pathways that led me and the other speakers you've heard from to economic independence. And it's costing them dearly, but it's also costing our cities, our states, and our nations over $90 billion per year by having these opportunity youth lacking opportunity. But our research confirmed that these young Americans want to get back on track, are ready to work extremely hard to do so, take personal responsibility for their future, and want to give back to their families and their communities, but they just need a little help. So that's why we came together today, and that's why the White House Council put forth a series of recommendations on what it will take for the government, for our cities, for our nonprofits, for our businesses, to create opportunities for all opportunity youth. And I won't repeat all those recommendations here or we'd be here till tomorrow, but I want to highlight three of our most important that are 100% aligned with the shared plan that Opportunity Nation has released today. First and foremost is the authentic youth voice and leadership at the core of all solutions. Opportunity youth know what they need, and they trust their peers more than they trust most other people for pretty good reasons, given the experiences they've had thus far. So it's my belief, and it was our council's belief, that whether you're the mayor of San Francisco, the CEO of Amazon or LinkedIn, or the nonprofit leader running a youth or family organization, you need to bring young people to the table, not just as a feel-good effort, but to listen, learn, and let them lead us to improved solutions for all young people. <laughs> Out of those recommendations came collective impact, engage employers, absolutely critical to achieving the objectives that we all have been talking about today. So we've got something very special going. We've got visibility with people like Judy Woodruff and Ariana Huffington and others at the table passionate about this issue and ready to put the spotlight on it. We've got a shared agenda, the youth, the Opportunity Nation, the White House Council and others coming forward. But now we need the resources and we need the implementation. And that's going to take sustained commitment by all of us. And I'm really pleased and proud representing the White House Council but also as an individual leader, to be joining you here today as we begin to take these shared agendas and move them to the increased resources and increased impact that we're all seeking. Thank you very much.